Okay, hey guys, so today I will be making a video about the uh, new iOS 11.1.2 jailbreak. I believe this also works on 11.1.0 and 11.1.1. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I have tested this on 11.1.2. So, um, well, never mind. Oh no, it might. Yeah, I think it does for normal things, but maybe not TVOS. But um, regardless of that, I've tested it on 11.1.2. So if you're on 11.1.2 just like me, it should work for you. Now, just keep in mind that this here isn't a full jailbreak just yet. So the developer of Liberius, which is the name of this jailbreak, has advised us all that uh, he is working to try and get Cydia working with the actual jailbreak but it's currently not stable and so therefore he hasn't included it in the package to have it installed at the same time but for now the jailbreak apparently does give you read and write access with the kernel to the kernel so before we um, move along just keep all that in mind there is no city just yet so there isn't much you can really do with this unless you know what you're doing you do get SHSH access into the um, into the phone or your iDevice I should say but um, yeah apart from that it's not really towards the end users just yet but um, regardless let's uh, show you guys how to get this sorted so if you want to have this set up you'll need to go here to download the uh, actual the actual file that's going to be um, installed onto your iDevice so this is the uh, jailbreak here essentially and you also will need to go into one of the links I'll have in the description called Cydia Impactor so this here is how we're going to get the file from the computer here onto your actual onto your actual iDevice. So once you've gone ahead and downloaded it, so choose your version either Mac OS X, Windows, Linux, or 32 or 64 bit. So that's up to you as well. And um, from there, you will need to, of course, get all your files together. And um, once it's done downloading, I'll show you how to go from there. So I'm just putting all the files I've already downloaded into a folder. Alrighty, so these are the files that you would have downloaded except for this folder here. I've already gone ahead and extracted that. So you open up the zip file copy and paste all of these files into a folder or you can just go right click and go extract here however you want to do it and then you've got this file here as well so what we will do is we will be opening up the Cydia Impactor first and um, also on a side note when we do that you will want to make sure that you've got your iTunes open as well in the background that way that you can uh, you can trust your phone on the computer so I will go ahead and plug my phone into this now. Go up here and it should give you information on your device. Okay. So if this is your first time, it will come up with a pop-up asking you to trust the phones, but mine is fine at the moment. It's already done that. So once that's done, we're going to go back to City Impactor and you're going to want to open it up so don't run this as an administrator or else it won't work now once you've got it open you want to make sure that you've got your phone selected so it would be in there and then you're going to have that selected install Cydia extender we're not i don't think we even need that um now you want to go and get the uh, liberius file drag and drop that into there and it'll install it now I'm not going to do it again because I've already got it on my phone so I don't need to do it again but once that's done installing it will come up with a message saying complete down here and then we can go and see it on the actual home screen of the iPhone now I will go over to the iPhone and show you how to finish it but I'll also explain it to you actually since it's a little bit, it's not even really that hard. I'll walk you through it now. Once it's done, 
you can open up the app so I'm opening it up on my iPhone and um, you should see some writing on the screen saying this is Liberius for iOS 11.0 to 11.1.2 and it's powered by the Hulin toolkit so what you're going to want to do is see the big button in the middle that says do it just press that button and uh, wait a bit it doesn't look like it's doing anything just give it a bit of time it takes about a minute online and um, you should probably take the same amount of time as well and that's it you should be able to see the uh, images on the screen now detailing the uh, what the actual exploder has done for you and uh, that's pretty much it so that's all you get from this at the moment I don't believe there's anything else that's really out there this is just a proof of concept I guess um, of course there is still a lot of work to be done but this is functioning and it is out there so if you guys want it go and get your hands on it now and um, yeah I'll be also making a video on some Pokemon Go mods so if you guys want to see that don't forget to stay tuned for more I'll be bringing new content to you guys as soon as possible whenever I get it as I will be all over this so stay tuned guys make sure to rate, comment and subscribe and peace out see you in the next video